Hi everyone, welcome to Pref Vision. So this video is for Gate EC aspirant who are going to appear for the examination on 15th of Feb. So a few suggestions I wanted to give because you are having roughly three to four days left. So let's get started. First one is that don't predict the examination. Don't predict the question paper because a lot of people are saying that sir, from electrical instrumentation, these kind of questions are asked. So in EC, you can expect these kind of questions. In electrical, in instrumentation, control system has of good level. So in EC as well, control system will be of good level. That particular question can be asked. Those particular questions can be asked. Those particular topic can be asked. Don't do like that. Don't predict the question paper because the paper level doesn't depend on electrical and instrumentation. EC question paper, paper level doesn't depend on electrical and instrumentation. In 2022, electrical was on very easy side. It was on easier side only in 2022. But EC came out to be difficult. Instrumentation was of moderate level. So you cannot predict at all. Okay, so that's the bottom line. You cannot even predict what will be the level of a particular subject. That also you cannot predict. How actually the question paper is framed. So no one will frame like no one teacher will frame the questions from subjects let's just say for control system there will not be one teacher who will be framing the questions there will be different teacher from different iits who will be framing the question and they will be sending their questions to iit rutki now the final decision will be up to iit rutki that which questions they want to select are you getting this point so even the professor who has framed the question he also doesn't know whether his question will appear in the examination or not so it, it can happen that in electrical they picked a certain amount of question in EC they can pick some certain amount of questions. So no one knows. Are you getting this point? And you cannot predict it. So this is what happens. This is how the question papers are framed. Just a second. Yeah. So what I was saying, you cannot predict the question paper. Okay. So do not feel anything that this particular, this particular topic is very important or this is less important. Like general trends are there that from most amplified questions would come, from DFT question would come, from Nyquist plot the question will come. So these are the general trends. So from there, questions are coming from last five to six years and those would come only. But you cannot predict in a control system compensatories, they are asking compensator questions in instrumentation question paper. So they can ask the same in EC. In uh, e electrical and, and instrumentation, they asked about magnetic coupling. So in EC as well, they will ask about magnetic, magnetic coupling. No, in EC, there will not be any question from magnetic coupling. You can go and check out the previous year papers. You can go the, go and check out the syllabus as well. Magnetic coupling is not even mentioned in the syllabus. So in EC, there will not be any question from magnetic coupling. Okay. So in that, this is what I am saying. So do not predict the question paper. Now you will go in the examination hole and you will see the question paper on your own. Now the condition is what if the question paper turns out to be very easy or from or on easier side only not very easy very easy is nothing like very easy question paper is is a myth it can be easy or it can be moderate or it can be tough these three are things these three levels are there so let's just say the paper turn, turns out to be very easy turns out to be easy then what you will do so gate 2023 question paper was on easier side only it was not uh, on tougher side it was more around easier side and a bit around moderate side. So in that paper as well, that was from easy to moderate in that paper as well. If the student was getting 50 marks, he was getting a seat in IITs in various VRSI related branch. So there 50 marks was safe score, even if the paper was on easier side. Are you getting this point? So in EC, I'm telling even if the paper, even if you feel like that the paper is on easy to moderate side, Still, you just need to keep in mind that I just need to score around 50 to 55 to be on the safer side. Look, electrical question paper, people are saying that it was on tougher side, it was on that side, that side. But to be very honest, if you are someone from EC, you would have seen the at least known core questions, right? So it was from easy to moderate side only. It was not at all towards tougher side. But the thing is, a lot of students saw the question paper, this, they saw that it is very easy and in a hurry, they matched up the examination. A lot of minor mistakes did, they did. So what they should have done is that they, they should just, they should have just kept the patience there and should have solved the problem. But they just thought that we need to score more and more marks in that particular scenario. They matched up the examination. So this is what I'm telling to EC student. Even if you feel like that question paper is easier, a lot of people will be messing up just because they will think that I need to score more. But believe me guys, in an easy question paper as well, if you are scoring around 55 marks, that would be enough for you to get into the seat in IIT. 55 marks would be enough. Even in the easy paper I'm saying, I'm not even talking about tough paper. Okay, so that's the conclusion about easy question paper. It can be easy as well, it can be tough as well, it can be more moderate as well, it could be anything. But if it comes out to be easy, you do not need to lose it there. You do not need to be in a hurry. You do not need to think that I need to attempt more and more question. You just need to attempt every question with good amount of accuracy and with good, good amount of patience. That's it. 
now what if question paper turns out to be difficult because when you see the question paper you will understand the question paper is difficult or moderate or easy so if the question paper is turning out to be difficult let's just take the example of 2024 so in 2024 question paper was difficult so i guess around 45 marks you were getting a rank around 500 in 45 marks only in ec question paper in 45 marks only you were getting a very good rank and in that rank you are sure sure that you will be getting a seat in iits in vlsi related branch so 45 marks was more than enough in gate 2024 examination okay because that was on difficult side so in a difficult question paper you just need to know that uh, whatever that i know i just need to solve that correctly that's it people will say that sir what will happen if difficult question paper comes if difficult question paper is coming then it is an advantage for you those who have studied in a good manner it is advantage for them if the question paper is difficult because there you just need to pick a certain amount of questions and just solve it that's it and if you just solve those questions correctly then your job is done in a difficult question paper if you just solve 30 to 35 questions correctly out of 65 you just need to solve 50 percent of the questions correctly and your seat is secured in iits and 50 percent of the question will certainly be on the easier side only even in the difficult question paper i am saying even if the question paper is coming to be on the difficult side still 50 percent of the question will be on easier side only you just need to pick those questions in three hours and just solve it that's it okay so even if it is coming difficult or even if it is coming easy you do not need to worry the problem comes when the question paper is moderate so in moderate question paper an average student find it difficult a moderate question paper and average student this is the worst possible combination okay so there we can worry a bit but do not even feel like that before the examination just have the confidence no matter what kind of paper level is coming whether it is easy difficult or moderate i just need to pick a certain amount of questions and whatever i need to whatever i need whatever i know I just need to solve those questions and my job will be done. Okay. So have the patience in easy examination. That's the most important thing. Have the patience. Okay. And solve the question with good amount of confidence and with good amount of accuracy and with good amount of patience. And certainly you will do very, very well. The other thing, like it might happen that you might mess up your first 30 minutes or 40 minutes or in between you you might mess up your 30 40 minutes there you are hardly able to solve one or two question in 30 to 40 minutes it might happen in the examination but there also you do not need to worry because if you have prepared well if you have prepared enough then you are not going to mess up your 180 minutes of your complete time you can mess up 30 minutes 40 minutes 50 minutes but still you will be left with 120 minutes or 130 minutes and that is more than enough to get a seat in iit okay so even if you are messing up messing up some time in the time you are not able to solve any question you have taken 10 minutes in a particular question still you do not need to worry why so because you have enough time left don't even think about the time that is gone in the examination the time that is gone that is gone just focus on how i will utilize the time that is left okay so that is the second thing i wanted to tell just uh, whatever the time is gone in the examination do not worry about that because even the 100 minutes are more than enough to solve 50% of the problems in the examination. And if you are able to solve, in, even in an easy question paper, if you are able to solve 60% of the problems with good accuracy, then your job is done. Right? Now, third, uh, now third thing. So, don't judge your performance by the test series marks. Look, test series marks are important. I always, I have always said that test series marks are important. But, but uh, two days back, one coaching institute, I'm not taking their name. They are very good coaching institute. But they took an all India exam. And then that, that question paper I saw, they took an all-India exam, I'm not mentioning their name, that question paper also I saw. But that question paper was pretty lengthy, like I will not even say that question, the level of questions was, was pretty good, no. Even the level was also not that pretty good, also the question paper was also lengthy. So that kind of question paper is not coming into your examination. I know a lot of guys who are going to secure under 100 rank and those guys got over 100 rank in that examination. So looking at those mock tests, you should not be analyzing your performance. Whatever that you have performed in the test series, let's just say in test series, your best marks was 60 marks. So believe me guys, in the final examination as well, you can get 60 marks. So just have the confidence on yourself. The examination that you wrote two to three days back, don't judge yourself on that particular examination because that is not your final examination. And the level of question paper was also a bit, too, I will not say that was the difficult question paper. That was something that will not be asked in the examination. A lot of calculation was there. Needless calculation was there. Really sorry, sorry to say that. I have full respect for the coaching institute, but that question paper was not of good level. Needless calculation was there. Needlessly like 
like they did not ask anything out of the syllabus but bigger calculation and uh, even the level of the question paper was not was not that good so that is the review because a lot of guys were feeling demotivated seeing the score of that particular all india examination but do not feel like that now one last tip a day just one second yeah so what i was saying i was saying that a day before the examination you should not be learning anything now let's just say some people will say that sir we have made some short notes sir we have made uh, some formula sheets so can we revise that formula sheet can we revise that short notes on the day before examination so my high recommendation my high recommendation would be not to revise anything because what happens is that if you revise anything a day before the examination then that particular thing is more saturated in your brain that means that will be on your higher priority let's just say i mug up one formula neta 2 cos theta t minus neta 1 cos theta i divided by neta 2 cos theta t plus neta 1 cos theta i i say this formula for the five times then it will be just going around my mind it happens no like sometimes we watch a movie and that that keeps on going around our mind so the same thing will happen with that formula sheet as well so whatever that you have studied just have the confidence on yourself you do not need to mug up any formula or you do not need to mug up any short notes the day before the examination you have solved enough problems you have solved enough questions those questions will come in the examination and on your own the formula will come into your mind it might feel like that sir i will forget the formula but no when you see the when you see a particular problem your hand will automatically automatically write the formula okay so i will highly recommend not to study anything a day before the examination let the things be settled down okay let the concept be settled down in your brain because you have studied a lot of things just let that settle down if you have if you let that settle down a day before the examination then on the day of the examination certainly it will come out and you will perform well so that was the next thing that i wanted to tell so do not study anything a day before the examination on 13th of feb on 12th of feb on 11th of feb you can study anything that you want but on 14th of feb you do not need to study anything on 14th of feb if you feel like that sir i need to do something i cannot sit idle i cannot sit freely i need to do something then what you can do you can solve some problems you can some solve some gate by iqs which, which you found to be on a good level you can solve some uh, questions which you found to be on a good level from test series you can solve some faqs that we are bringing on our channel only so those questions you can solve so that your confidence builds up and you can perform well in the examination so that's it these kind of recommendation i wanted to give to my students who are going to appear for gate ec examination and best of luck to all of you if you are having any other query you can write down in the comment section and believe me guys if you have studied well you are going to perform very well in the upcoming examination on 15th of feb so best of luck to everyone happy learning